Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to calculate the credit and debit calculation system. This is the inventory management system. This is very important stuff, right? When you are calculating the all sale products, right? So here I have created the database name which is name is all sale shop, right? Here this is a report, right? I have added that this is the name of the customers, John, this is a Peter, right? The cost, uh, John as a credit 10,000, debit, this is the debit, right? Uh, again, the John has 20,000 credit, debit as this, right? So, Peter has the credit amount 55,000 and the debit amount. After again, Peter has a 70, uh, 7,800, 20,000, right? These are the limits, right? So, here, at the end, when the, uh, when the report, right, we have to, uh, enter the enter the uh, relevant customer uh, name here. It should show the debt. What is the customer have a total debit? What is the customer has a total credit? Right? How to see? How to do the task? Right? So here, first I am going to do the thing. Things as John for this one. So we'll see the credit and debit. Right? We'll calculate the credit and debit. So here see, you have to type the John the person named John, click find, it's a debit as 8000, debit means this one, 50 plus 30, of the credit as 10,000 and 20,000, it will be calculated, right? If you are calculated data, you will see what is the credit limit and debit, uh, debit limit and credit limit, credit, debit limit, this one, 20, uh, 24,000, credit limit is this, 62, uh, 1800 right so this is simple stuff how to do step by step build uh, things right so first i have i have uh, used to create this user interface using eclipse eclipse if you are a beginner you must study my previous tutorial how to create this form and how to create this uh, uh, track the label and uh, buttons and text field all the stuff right if I teach from the beginning, it takes too much of time to complete the project. It's so boring for uh, the, those who are learned from the beginning of my tutorial. Those are you know, uh, those are very boring. So that I already designed this form and explain it. It's very simple. We have complete the project uh, very quickly or the less time. So here, yeah, this is called as labels. I have made three labels which name I have read name, debit, and credit. I have created the three text field which has this name. I have changed it as how to change the text field name. Select the text field, go to the structure, variable. You have to change what's the name you are given. I gave here as txt name. This text field I have given the name as txt credit. This text field I have given the name as txt debit. This is a credit. This is the you have to given as right. You have to change it. Right, you have to right, here. That's no problem, it's working. You have to change the name. This is a credit, this is a debit, right? Okay, this is a credit, this is a debit, right? This is a credit, this is a debit. Okay, you have to change it, right? Okay, you have to right, you have to change like this. Now what I'm going to do is here. Yeah, this is a fine part, right? When you enter the relevant account holder name, account holder, this is the uh, vendor name, okay, who purchasing the goods, right? So we have to uh, we have to get the complete total of the credit and debit itself. So it is it is display on this text book, text field. So first select the find button. After design the stuff or the action stuff form. Here I have wrote the simple code. Very simple. First we have to implement the uh, namespace import Java dot SQL dot asterisk. Mean all the SQL classes will be decided on the namespace. If you are right, asterisk. Uh, asterisk, right after that I have created the two objects right connection this is the in, inside this button i already i am creating inside the button i have created the connection object con prepare statement object paste after that this one here when the customer you are typing it will be assigned to the variable name right after that we have ready some mysql driver we have to show the database path my database is reside in localhost, which name is Walsall Shop. This is a user credential of MySQL. Root is a username, password is that. This is how we have to write. 
this is the efficient way we are writing the right? this is the path of which we identify the data right how to here after that how to communicate the mysql driver mysql and java we have to download the appropriate connector uh, here i have already downloaded here select the project right click properties here you have to at the external job where you download you have to select both hold on the shift key down and they can open it open it and apply and close right this all the process i have done my previous tutorial don't uh, i i don't like to teach again by hand so boring let me go to code. I have created a string SQL variable. Here I have created the simple code. Select sum debit, comma, select sum credit, right? We have uh, two fields in my database, credit and debit. So we have to write credit and debit here. This one, if you are confused in this one, you have to leave it now. From which table, report table. This is the report table. Right? Report table where name equal single quotation, double quotation, two plus sign. This name, but the name you are typing here, you are putting here. And we have to use and operator debit greater than zero. Okay, debit, debit, debit this uh, debit. Those who are having the uh, debit uh, greater than zero only it will be displayed. Okay, so otherwise it not displayed. So here this person has a debit, she still have a debit here, right? This person also still still have a debit, so it's not reduced. So here, so here, if it is put the sum before the, this column name, what happen is debit column, what are the values are there? The debit column, it, it look at the values, the debit column, these are the four values are there. Again, I have to give the content via name. Where name equal, what the name of your type on this text field, it is assigned to the name variable, it is calling here. So the relevant person credit limit will be show and debit limit will be show. The particular person credit limit, debit limit will be show on the relevant text field. That is the task I done by over here. Right? So you have to create the connect uh, statement class, create the object ST. This is the connection object I have created as con this connection object, the connection object. We have a create statement, we have create statement. Resolve set object I have created the set. The statement object we have to pass it here. Execute query, this SQL you have to pass it here query. After we have to check. Resolve set set. Next, it is passing, it is all the things are calculated and we have to put into here. Okay, so here it will be passing the relevant text fields, right? TXT credit mean text field we, i have given the name uh, wrongly we have to give the name correctly okay here credit txt credit it, it, it become a txt debit okay this is the txt credit right so we have to change the name and accordingly of the text field right so it will be passing a record into the text field right one mean this is the one this is a two mean this is a two this is how the record will be display on the each text box successfully. This is how we are doing the programming step by step. This is very easy uh, uh, programming. This is very useful for you are doing the all cell uh, shop management system, the point of sale system, and that's etc. If you have to the inventory management system, etc. If you are when you are making this kind of system, this is very important stuff you are studying. Okay, how to uh, in SQL, how to uh, sum all the values right? there are many uh, people who comment me on the chat they are they want to do the, the report calculation part how to do how to calculate each uh, report calculation part okay the particular column so simple you have to calculate the using the sum it's a keyword in next year it's very simple okay this is how you have to use to calculate them okay this is very important stuff uh, I hope you understood the thing so far. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me anytime.